Hi and welcome to another episode of I Am Trans News. I am your host, Navana Beta, and today I'm going to be talking to you about nothing other than Netflix and Dave Chappelle. Now, I'm sure you've already heard about all the controversy going on with Dave Chappelle and Netflix about the transphobic and homophobic comments that he made. And I will not be personally addressing anything that he said or what was said in his show. I haven't watched the show, so I can't really give an honest feedback on the entire thing. All I know is, from the couple of scenes that I did watch, that it was offensive to me. And I'll just leave it at that. So without further ado, now I'm going to um, talk about an article, talk and read out an article that Netflix has released this is an article that has been posted by vanity and um it is it has been posted on october 20th as you can see here this is my source that i'll be reading from and then without further ado i will begin to read now mind you i will be making words into other words if i can't pronounce them correctly because i know like There's a word, especially on here, that I'm already looking at that I'm like, I'm just going to say a different word. Okay, so don't mind me if I do that, if I'm I'm not reading it word for word, if I'm just kind of, um, kind of glancing and reading over really quick. Okay, anyway, so here we go. Netflix addressing an employee walkout Wednesday protesting the streamer, the streamer's defense of Dave Chappelle's stand-up special rift on transphobic and homophobic commentary issued a statement acknowledging deep hurt the controversy has caused. In a statement, Netflix said, we value our trans co-workers and allies and understand the deep hurt that has been caused. We respect the decisions of any employee who chooses to walk out and re- and recognize us and, and we recognize we have to work harder to do both to do more work within both Netflix and in our content. Um, Chappelle's The Closer, released on October 8th, was stirring a major backlash inside and outside of the company. On Wednesday, October 20th, hundreds of company employees planned a stage, planned to stage a walkout to protest Netflix management's uncompromising position on the issue and organizers have set a stand up and solidarity rally to be held at Netflix Epic building in LA but since relocated to the company office but has since relocated to the company's office at 1341 Vane Street. Okay, so what what's happening here is it sounds like um Netflix has a lot of workers who are the LGBT community and since Netflix sees that not only their workers but other people are consistently complaining about the content that he posted or not that he posted but that Netflix allowed him to um, post on their content it seems like um, the backlash is starting to be a little too much and it's going to permanently hurt their image and they don't want that because they do have lgbt content and they don't want i'm sure they don't want people to feel like they are um not being represented in a correct way and i'm talking about the people who are protesting but i'm sure a lot of trans people feel like that in general now it says here the neck the netflix CEO and Chief Content Officer Ted Sarandos is in the interview Tuesday with Vanity acknowledging that he screwed up. Mm. Uh, I'm sure he is realizing because eventually it hits their pockets and internally communicating uh, and internally the communicating in the company's position on Dave Chappelle special and by not being more sensitive to employees who were hurt by the decisions to keep it on the platform but he indicated the closer will remain on netflix and reiterates that it does not believe it falls into a category of hate speech so you see here that's all we need to really read from um about this man in this interview that he did i don't feel like any of the rest of this article um 
is going to be anything worth actually reading over. Um, he said everything that he needed to say as far as why they're not going to take down Netflix. He doesn't feel like uh, the Netflix uh, special by Dave Chappelle. He feels like they're not going to take it down because the money is just coming in and it's too good. And for that reason, um, they're not going to basically put it down. Plus, they say it like, like it says here. They said it's not hate speech. Clearly, it's hate speech because um, if that was... A white person and he was talking about black people in the same manner literally just replacing a lot of those words and using similar similar situations that um that white some white people think clichely that think are you know stereotypical of black people or something like that then it would be classified as hate speech it's only classified as not hate speech because the money is good and so for that reason alone you can uh, draw your own judgments. Um, clearly, you know what my judgment is. I think that's that's ridiculous. That is a very ridiculous thing to say that it's not hate speech or that it does not have hate speech in there. Um, I think we need to be mindful, like a lot of cis straight people say, that um, we need to be mindful of what we intake and what we let our families intake. And there is no place for hate um on this page and so i would just say that you know don't watch the special don't support dave chappelle and at this point i feel like supporting netflix is iffy but let me know what y'all think in the comments below make sure you leave a like um a comment like i said and subscribe all of those things help the algorithm and I want more people to be able to see this content so we can reach a greater audience of trans people. Um, I appreciate you watching to the end. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. And as always, I am your host, Novana Beta. And this is I Am Trans News.